see that you can't be a strong leader mm. or have leadership potential as a woman without being a little bit sexy or something. Yeah. There has to be an element of, well, you have to be all right to look at. Mm. Then we'll hear what you have to say. But then or, we'll... But even then we don't take... Well, that, and all we'll talk about is how good looking you are then. You know, you're kind of damned if you're ugly. Um, then, you know, I mean, you've heard people say of Gillard, and I know this is the extreme end, but, you know, who would want to fuck her or not? Who cares? You know, what is? how is this relevant to the trade negotiations yeah. with China? Um, on the other hand, I think if she was too good looking, people would say it's too much of a distraction. You know, we're still... Um, some of us are still at that point of, of being trapped in that. Yeah. But I think... I don't know, you can get even Freudian about it. It's something to do with accepting the authority of, of a woman. You know, like the whole kind of the man runs the family, um, is, is the nation a metaphor for the family and vice versa. Dad's not in charge. Oh no, oh no, you know, what are we going to do? Same with the company. Um, I think it's about that. It's at a more primal level. And is that too, like, well that means that our, I don't know, our schools are now you know, our ironing will be in, in order, but the money and like the real things. The real things can't be sorted. Well, I mean, school's a classic example, isn't it? When you think, I don't know the numbers, but I would have to guess that the teaching workforce would have to be at least 70% women. But I bet the principles are skewed much more toward men.